Hey y'all, Vita here, back with another collective message. Hope you are doing fine, fine, fine this beautiful Saturday morning. Let's get into it, see what the guides, the gods would like for you to be aware of today. Remember, only take what resonates, kick rocks to the rest. What do we have? Doesn't know how to swim. Someone doesn't know how to swim. They could be wicked to the bone, yet hide it well. One day they will be seen for who they truly are. Someone will be seen for who they truly are, wicked to the bone. This card just fell out. So something about a charity event. Something could be revealed about a charity event. Let's get another card. Wicked. Bringing these wicked doers down to their knees. No one gets away with anything. What we got? False accusations. So there could be some false accusations being made against you or someone who's in a lot of trouble is saying, no, no, it wasn't me, it was them. Somebody's wicked to the bone. They're being found out. It could have to do with a charity event. Useful idiot. So someone has been a useful idiot. Their time is up. They thought they had more time. Someone thought they had more time to do some very wicked things. Whoever this is, they've been quite bold, fear-mongering. They have intimidated a lot of people. Someone could be actively trying to keep you from speaking out on a situation agenda 2030 is showing up so something on the global scale it has to do with charity something about charity false accusations maybe misappropriation of funds funding something about funding or lack of funding here we have oh here's this card hiding preferences I won't say the middle word. So whoever this wicked person or people are that could be on the global stage or not, I mean, this type of energy, it's, it's at all levels. It has to be ground out, grinding. Something's grinding. Something's coming out. So this charity event could be, could have to do with this preferences card right here, auctioning off. Something about auctions, explosives, could even be weapons. So we got a lot going on coming out the gate. Let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity. You are not afraid. You know why you're here. Be bold is what's coming through. Be bold. Continue to speak out. Charity event. What's going on with this charity event? Okay, my cards are in the upright but this okay no hangman so there's a charity event that could have been suspended it has to do with uh this card here preferences some and intimidation with this fear mongering something is suspended the sun here is at the bottom so revelations something about revelations getting the word out Someone doesn't know how to swim. They can't break free with this hangman here and doesn't know how to swim. This could have been a swimming accident, something that was set up. Doesn't know how to swim. Someone didn't know they were being used. They feel like an idiot. Doesn't know how to swim. Well, look at that, the emperor, it's spun around, it's in the reverse here, the emperor, and it's landing under false accusations. So this is some kind of takedown. It's got to do with some people that thought they had power. Could be an explosion, literally. The sun, ace of wands. Whatever this is, it's necessary. Someone's got their head up in the clouds. They can't believe it. They feel like they're drowning even if they're on land. Doesn't know how to swim. 
major shift, major shift in the narrative. More people are being rounded up. So this charity event could even be a setup. Emperor in the reverse, false accusations. Someone who's playing uh, both sides of the fence, a double agent type of energy. Someone's definitely being set up, doesn't know how to swim. Let's try this again. We'll get more on this emperor that's in the reverse. Claiming that they're being falsely accused. This has to do with an ace of cups here. It landed face down on false accusations and emperor. So I think I'll kind of put it there. And we'll keep going. So the Ace of Cups, that's water, doesn't know how to swim, that's water. Aries, Emperor, the Ram. Something about the Ram, something was rammed down someone's throat. Something, a, a substance was ran, ran, pushed. No, well... Here we have Hater at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, somebody was set up by someone that they trusted. They were a useful idiot. How are you tying into this? You're not afraid. You're speaking out. You know what went down at whatever event this could have been. Could have even been a raid. Let's see. Doesn't know how to swim. Ace of Cups face down. All right, that's a lot of cards. We've got white, well, you know what? This is way too many cards. I'm going to read them and put them back. White magic, nine of pentacles, ace of swords, eight of cups, three of swords, nine of wands, six of cups, temperance. So someone is really wishing that they would have walked away from a situation. It wasn't what it appeared to be. The promises that were made weren't delivered. Just the opposite happened. Something crashed and burned. And it's it's fierce. There's a blowback here. A lot of useful idiots that took orders without any question. And a lot of that energy has to be removed. It, it can't be tolerated. People that just go along to get along knowing that there's things that are that are harmful to others happening and for what Some, someone's asking for what what did i what 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 did i get someone got used doesn't know how to swim okay here we are queen of cups and the empress in the upright those are interesting cards to come out clarifying doesn't know how to swim. Ace of Cups is in the reverse. So we've got um, creativity. We've got a lot of water. So something about remote viewing, intuition. Someone could be a redhead, a blonde, a brunette. Queen of Cups, Empress could be working together or separate. Someone's a mother. What's at the bottom? Up in the clouds. You could be this Empress, this Queen of Cups. Someone's got their head up in the clouds. They don't know how to deal with you. Someone is feeling like you're too bold. Something about deliverance. I'm going to have to get more here for this. I'm not sure what's going on with these two. Fear mongering. Someone tried to set up an Empress of Queen of Cups. Something about emotions. We saw the Ace of Wands. We saw Temperance. No, it's too many. Queen of Pentacles. Fear mongering. Right, this is a lot of cards also. Page of Pentacles, the Tower, the Star, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, High Priestess, Knight of Pentacles. Well, with this Page of Pentacles and this Tower here, followed by the Star and the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, we're dealing with some younger energies that were used 
something's blowing up in someone's face. People are speaking out. Something is done. Yeah, speaking out. Look, here's secrets right here. I wasn't even going to, I was going to put these cards back, but I can see from the sequence that it's all tying together. So there's two, two feminine energies here. They're coming out as an empress and a queen of cups, but I'm, I'm not really sure what, what's going on. They don't feel genuine. Something isn't genuine. Something has taken a very long time to be exposed. There's too many secrets. They're coming out. The secrets can't be stopped. False accusations. People are playing the victim. They knew what was happening. They didn't speak up. Hiding these uh, lust, lustful preferences, we'll just say. Someone's hiding their lustful prefer preferences. And we've got this page of pinnacles out here with the tower and the stars. So these could be child stars, star seeds. Four of Cups. Four of Cups clarifying hiding preferences and then trash box. So someone could have been falsely accused of uh, liking certain things in the in when it comes to being intimate that might be a lie the hangman we have the full the full twice okay so there's two full cards in this deck huh we'll just so somebody's a double ass fool <laughs> we'll just say and then we've got nine of cups here. So two full cards coming out, nine of cups. So a lot of cups, ace of cups, queen of cups, nine of cups, two fools. These two fools could be this queen of cups and this empress here. So we're gonna leave that like that, leave this nine of cups with the hangman charity event Someone thought they were going to score something at this event. Something was withheld, is being withheld. White magic is now in, no, all of these cards are in the reverse. So white magic, nine of pentacles, ace of swords, eight of cups, three of swords. There's a block, there's a blockage here. Ace of cups. Divine Partner, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords. So there's something about a divine partnership. The Ace of Cups came out in the reverse. The Emperor is in the reverse. So for some of you, your narrative is changing quite drastically. Maybe all of a sudden, there's a lot of information that is coming out about this Emperor that's in the reverse. Something that you might have believed is not true, is true. Someone tries to make you afraid. You've moved away from whatever situation this is. You're following your heart. Hmm. Let's get a card for this emperor. Something about being bold, that's very important. Taking that leap, not putting restrictions on yourself when it comes to the things that you know you're capable of doing and succeeding in. You're proving someone wrong. Ten of Swords, Lovers, it's clarifying the Emperor. So with the Lovers coming out in the Divine Partner card, and then we've got this three of wands here, followed by ten of cups up in the clouds. Social media, the chariot, seven of swords. So there is some sort of thing, scandal, that's uh, being put out. It's online. Has to do with so social media, charity event, some sort of auction, a tower. 
the star with this page of pentacles, some new idea that didn't get off the ground. Someone tried to raise money, but that whatever the money was being raised for was false. It wasn't, it wasn't true. Why is this four of cups here? So there could also be an emperor energy that is very uh, angry, we'll just say. They feel that they've been deceived. They've been hung out to dry with this hangman here. There's evidence about a charity event, what was actually being sold. Four of Cups. Now we have the World and the Page of Cups. Remember, hiding this, this is what's being clarified here. Page of Cups, we're talking about young people, talented people, their energy being siphoned. And then, as I say, their energy being siphoned, we get the va the vampire. So, bloodsuckers. We got a bloodsucker here. It's this emperor that's in the reverse. Everything is falling apart for this energy. They can't recover. Good riddance is what's coming through. So, someone is very relieved that this emperor is in the reverse. There's no love in their heart. This is not a divine being. You have a divine partner that could be assisting you with moving forward. Let's get a card for this hangman. Jealousy and envy is what's clarifying hangman. And then we have animosity. So for whoever you are, there is someone that is... Uh, this could just be energy, but they can't move. They're stuck. Something to do with a charity event. You could have recently a attended a charity event and looked spectacular with this Empress and this Queen of Cups here. Someone watched you from the sidelines. They're furious, jealous, envious of the things that you're doing, the attention that you're getting. Let's get a card for Nine of Cups. You are someone's wish. Well, so we have, okay, we've got death magic, community, and manipulation. Landing on divine partner with lovers, ten of swords, and this emperor in the reverse. So I don't know why this divine partner is being clarified by manipulation, community, and death magic. Other than this is some sort of cult activity, once again, that is very active in bring, bringing down the collective. We do have vampire. So this is about energy harvesting. All in the name of charity. So some big charity event. Conflict and change. Nine of Cups. Someone wants to get out of this conflict. They want to get away from these people. They are caught up in a situation that is beyond their imagination. Nine of Cups. Wishing for a brighter day. Okay, Karmic Film is what's landing across full twice. And then we've got Love Spell. Doesn't know how to swim. So this karmic femme could have been set up. Why is this queen of cups here? Let's just get down to it. Queen of cups. There's a karmic femme that's been set up. Or set someone else up to take the fall. Okay, commitment is clarifying queen of cups. There's a commitment here with the queen of cups. All right, now we got the veil. It's landing on death, magic, community, and manipulation, opposition. So some of you are dealing with a fierce oppositional force that is actively trying to dismantle your energy. They don't want you to be seen. They don't want you to speak out. Someone is trying to set someone else up. So this Queen of Cups could be in a commitment with this Empress. We'll just get another 
card, Empress. We saw the Three of Swords. It didn't come out. Okay, everything's landing here in the middle. Opposition, sideways, false accusations. Single, sexy, and successful. Let's try this again. False, I almost said false empress. Let's see what comes out for this empress energy. I really like this pink color here. Very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see. Opposition is sideways. So there's still something that you're bringing down. You're unveiling travel here is what's clarifying Empress. And then we have faith. So whoever you are, your faith is what's guiding you right now. It's the most important thing for someone in someone's life is their faith. Guiding them away from the uh, rising waters with this don't know how to swim. The waters are rising. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles here under fear mongering. That's too much, too many cards, but I'm saying actual money. So something about money. Knight of Pentacles. Lust. It's clarifying Knight of Pentacles, unexpected money again. And then we've got legal. So there's some sort of legal situation, a legal person that's involved. Knight of Swords energy. High Priestess. Someone's lusting after a High Priestess. Page of Swords. Someone's being watched. Could be remote viewing with this High Priestess and this Page of Swords. Travel here with the Empress could be astral travel. I'm saying that because we've got the veil here. We've got manipulation, opposition sideways, divine partner upright. Ace of Cups was face down. Lovers here with this Ten of Swords. So someone's brokenhearted. It could have to do with an Empress that has moved on. Someone's in a commitment with a Queen of Cups or wants to be in a commitment with a Queen of Cups. There's a Karmic Femme that is landing crisscross on two full cards. So there's a lot of uh, characters involved in whatever situation this is. It's explosive. It could have to do with something that's being planned in the year 2030. There are a lot of youth useful idiots. Even though the fool cards are in the upright, this is giving me useful idiot energy, especially being clarified by the karmic film cross. So something about a cross, someone could be trying to get across the border, get out of whatever city, state, country they're currently in. High Priestess. This is landing on Four of Cups, Poverty. So someone is very afraid of not having the resources necessary. Here we've got gift and protection. So you're very gifted, you're protected. There's an imprisonment card here with high honor. So someone who is currently seen in high honor is going to be locked up. <clears throat> Let's try this high priestess card again. Someone knows that your intuitive gifts, abilities keep you from being in fear. Someone who could have been trying to actively intimidate you with this vampire, this manipulation here, has to uh, recruit some different people. So there could be some different flying monkeys that have been recruited to discredit you. Maybe siphon off your resources, High Priestess. Single, sexy, and successful is landing sideways across this Four of Cups and this Page of Swords. So this is also someone that could be public. <laughs> they they appear to be one way, but they're actually not. They're, they're faking the funk. Someone is faking the funk. Could be a mature woman. Abuse and intuitive Kev. So there is abuse here. We're seeing it. 
It's under the surface, something about under the ground, under the surface. Let's get a card for this tower here. I'm not getting anything for High Priestess. So your third eye is wide open. Someone's trying to shut your third eye down. The tower, divine masculine, it just landed. It went that way and it hit this vampire here. So something about siphoning the divine masculine energy to do some really interesting things here. We've got passion behind vampire and secrets again. So there is someone that is hiding what, what turns them on with this lust card here. And it's being found out. Someone tried to hide something from you. They know that you know. That energy has been coming out frequently in these readings. The tower... Someone's hiding. Someone's in hiding. Protection. So you're protected from whatever tower this is. There's, there's something on the forefront that's very big. It could have to do with explosives. Yeah, look. You saw their eyes turn black. Is behind explosives. And here it is. Look at this. Hostile spiritual takeover, which is also followed by... Dream dangerously, which is followed by no out, outside force can hold you back. And then we've got this anti-human agenda and this humiliation ritual pilot school. I'm going to stop it there. So basically, it's what I said. There's some sort of astral energetic war going on here. It's uh, it, it has to do with artificial intelligence. There's divine masculine energy that's being hijacked. There's empress energy that is crossing borders. Something with the, I don't know, it's like the equator. I can't figure it out. But whatever this is, it's 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 technical in the in the astral. Could have to do with coding. Someone's a coder. Something's being recoded. Someone's speaking in code. They're speaking in code. They're speaking in tongues. They're hiding something. They're recreating the language, the bot language. <clears throat> what is this? Okay, hold on. Whatever it is, you're protected, okay? That much we know with this protection clarifying the tower, okay? Let's get a card for a star. Wow, high honor. That's you. High honor, star, high priestess. Self-love. The self-love is your faith. You know you're loved. You can feel it. You can feel your power. Saving the day. Someone tried to save the day. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's see what's going on with this Knight of Pentacles. Not, I'm sorry, Knight of Swords. So air, this air with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, they're definitely talking about information. Information. Manifestation, message, and karma. So there's someone trying to get a message to you that they're in a lot of trouble. They might not, their communication might have been cut off. And so they're telep telep. I can't say the word, so maybe that's not the word. Telepathically is the word. So this could be telepathic communication. Remote viewing. Someone could be wanting your services. Someone knows you astral travel. You come to someone in their, in their dream state. Manifestation, message, karma. Someone's getting the message that they will not get out of the situation. It has to be tempered. They've done too much. Someone's done too much. They're not honorable. Let's see why the world is here with this page of cups. Just saw courthouse. 
actually I'm gonna put this deck down. Now we've got health concern. So this is worldwide health concern. A lot of uh, interesting information that was being deliberately shadow banned, withheld, is starting to come to the surface. People are becoming aware of a lot of different situations. So I can see this, this uh, reading is just going to continue to go <clears throat> in a direction that I, I don't want to uh, keep staying. I mean, this is a lot of abuse. It's a lot of uh, something about despair and disparity. There's disparity when it comes to despair. Something has to be tempered out. Someone could be a lifestyle guru that is uh, pretending to have a lot when they have very little. Time is life is showing up here. Time is life, be bold. Let's get some just overall and general messages because this is all kind of like lumped together. Well, I wanted to know why this divine partner came out like this. Okay. She can't cook or clean the house properly. It's in the reverse. Let's get another card. Oh, it's not even making sense. What the heck? Mixed race, third degree burns. There's somebody that could be of mixed race. Someone suffered three degree burns. Let's get another card. Double agent for this divine partner. I said double agent earlier. There is someone that is a double agent. They're mixing up the timelines. They're a double agent. They're hopping through timelines and they're, they're messing shit up when it comes to the collective. This is really not what I want. Ugh. It's not about what I want. Okay, okay, I get it. Let's, you know what? I've kind of ignored this lover with this ten of swords. Some of you are dealing with a double agent energy. This person is still, they're playing with the timelines. They're mixing up the races. <sighs> Lovers. You can't be around me. Ten of swords. So there's someone that you've identified as a double agent. They absolutely can't. You won't let them around you. I mean, this is a really big swollen eye right here. This is just over and over again to abuse, like nonstop. This is that nasty energy that keeps showing up in my readings. Let's get another card, lovers. This is a group. Broken headlight is clarifying lovers. We already have, like, you could look at the broken headlight as uh, symbolic, you know what I'm saying? And then here, we've got this ten of swords with the two eyes closed and the one eye that can't even be opened. It, so this could be the broken headlight here, okay? It's got to do with a lover's situation, something behind the veil, something very wicked. Someone is being seen as wicked. They're a double agent. They're in too deep. They're connected to the wrong people. And now they're trying to get out of it. Let me see what this is with this empress here. So no one is as they seem right now. No returns. So you could be this empress telling someone no returns. Space energies. Yeah, so there's a lot going on. I knew it. Whenever this card shows up, space energies, it's it kind of like is how the reading is. It's just, it's very strong, but it's also just pieces here and there. It's like a quilt that's been ripped into shreds, this reading. So somebody feels like they're being ripped to shreds. They're banished from your energy. They keep trying to manifest you. You're completely protected from whatever this is. Someone's car could have been messed with, tinkered with, which caused an ex explosive accident and somebody got messed up.
space energies, no return. So there's galactic protection around this empress. Let's see why this queen of cups here. It was, that card was clarified by you think you love them, but you don't, Cancer Scorpio. So for some someone, well, for someone, there's a queen of cups here that you thought you loved someone. You're realizing that you don't. You could have gotten into a committed relationship with this person. You discovered something about them that just turned your soul upside down. <clears throat> and uh, now you have to make a make a move. Someone has to make a move. Let's get another card for Queen of Cups. Dark Mother. That's very interesting. Dark Mother speaking in tongues. I already said speaking in tongues and I said something about I don't recall what it was speaking in tongues changing the language so they're changing the language they're changing the AI language how they code the AI something like that I don't know because I'm not a computer person so this queen of cups is being clarified by speaking in tongues and dark mother that could be a couple of different things I'm uh so the empress is pretty much the empress, okay, with the no returns here and the space energies. This queen of cups energies could very well be this dark mother. The queen of cups can be a mother. Something about speaking in tongues. This is changing the language, changing the words, changing the meaning of the words with this double agent, double agent, double speak. Somebody double speaks, they speak backwards. <clears throat> How did my board, my table get so messed up? Queen of Cups. Indulgence here. So I feel like this Queen of Cups is very overindulgent. Charity event. This could be some sort of socialite energy. Why is Empress here? This is landing <clears throat> accident. It's landing over here with mixed race space energies. You can't be around me. And we've got this ten of swords, which feels like an accident. <clears throat> Self-love. So whoever you are in your empress energy, your self-love is saving you from whatever this is. And you're not allowing some person or even a force to get near you. You're shielded. You're shielded from whatever this is. You're protected. This protection and this tower. Self-love, compromise, calm, conflict, origin, aid. You're not compromising yourself, your integrity, or your protection. <clears throat> you know by compromising your faith, you compromise your protection. So that's very clear for someone you can't be coerced. You can't be pulled down into whatever this is. This Queen of Cups is overindulgent. They could be in um, their Dark Mother energy. <clears throat> Manipulative. Almost forgot about this Karmic Femme that's landing on full two times. Why is Karmic Femme here? Overloaded. So this karmic film feels ganged up on. They were hired to do something and promised safety, but that doesn't, yeah, death is at the bottom now. Transformation, marriage, right, third wheel. Yeah, so here it is here. We saw the lover's card with the ten of swords. So this is about some serious betrayal. It's got to do with the marriage, magic, witches, warlocks third wheel this could even be some sort of uh very <clears throat> out there <clears throat> excuse me this could even be like scientology with the space energies the marriage an arranged marriage marriage this could be an arranged marriage someone just got in way over their head they did not know what they were dealing with it doesn't have to be Scientology, but it could be something similar to that. I don't really even know much about that stuff. 
the fool. Why is the fool here? Stubbornness, face down. Let's get another card, the fool. Promise in the reverse. So for some, there's a marriage that's completely over. It's a nightmare. This could be a short-lived marriage. Someone got married too quick. It's a nightmare. They can't get out of it. There's a lot of people involved. This could have been some sort of coerced marriage. Promises have been broken. Now someone just doesn't want to hear any more excuses. They're, they're done with whatever this is. They're just done with it. I want to know, well, vampire, passion, and secrets. So... I just want to do a quick thing here just to see because this overall reading basically is about some wicked coven that is being seen for who they truly are. Uh, there's no getting out of it. This is an abusive uh, group. Very abusive. That's what, that's what they get off on. Someone gets off on hurting other people. So I just want to do something quick here just to see how these cards show up. Okay, let's see what what comes out. Vampire. Remember, we've got the emperor that's in the reverse up under here somewhere. So there's some emperor in the reverse that's being buried alive. Like, for real. And they've lost control. Vampire. Okay, this is vampire. Psychotic break. Suspended accounts. Digital pimps going viral is what's clarifying the vampire. So this is just reiterating this, this storyline. Something is being put out there. This vampire has been siphoning off divine masculine energy or masquerading as divine masculine. They can't do it anymore. Something is definitely being pushed. There's a narrative that's being pushed. It could be false accusations against someone who's innocent or the, someone that's not innocent is saying these are all false allegations. There's uh, an active uh, uh, warfare when it comes to suspending accounts online accounts people that are trying to get the truth out someone's having a psychotic break they feel like everything is falling apart they can't take much more wise passion here dehydration so this is someone who's spiritually dehydrated passion they're uh Energy is being drained by this vampire with this dehydration. Let's get another card for passion. Someone's allowed their passion for the uh, hidden objects, we'll just say, to get the best of them. Be careful who you allow to move in your home. Now is not the time to take in stray. So this vampire energy, passion, dehydrated. So this vampire is... Um, not able to get their supply anymore. So whoever this vampire is that might be in your, your life that you've banished, they're trying to come back because they're dehydrated. They need your energy. They need your blood. This is why this card, be careful who you allow to move into your home, has come out landing on this vampire. Do not let this vampire into your home. Why secrets here? They got way too many secrets that are going viral. They're an embarrassment to even their kind. This vampire is an embarrassment to other vampires. Secrets, whoa. No return. So this came out already. Secrets, dark mother, false accusations. So you see we got repeats. We got repeats here. Secrets. So whatever this is, information that you're finding out that could have to do with a dark mother, which was clarifying the Queen of Cups, it's, uh, these secrets are true. False accusation secrets. I need another card. 
no returns. So this vampire that you're like, no, Buster Brown, you stay away from me. No returns, MF, mofo. I know what you did with this Queen of Cups here. And it's very overindulgent. Ooh, this is so nasty energy. Queen of Cups. What's this Queen of Cups looking like again? Okay, blue dress. Blue dress. Blonde hair. Brown eyes. So someone with blonde hair and brown eyes. <sighs> Secrets. Fear mongering just came out. Okay. <laughs> I, this is why I did what I did with this deck because I needed to just get, I don't know why I needed to get more clarification, but we got hiding sexual preferences. Now it's coming out in the reverse. Broken headlight coming out again in the reverse. So someone's being accused of abuse of busting up someone's face. And they're saying, no, no, I didn't do it. But then we've got this card in the upright. They can do what they want with their life. They cannot do what they want with your life. So someone could have threatened you. This is for somebody, not everybody. Someone could have threatened you with the, in a lot of different ways. And boom, they just know it's not being tolerated. Fear mongering. So yeah, these cards came out twice out of all of these cards. And my little bit of a rearrangement, but all the cards came out again. So we got some serious uh, people, people that did not take God seriously. They're drowning. They don't know how to swim. They don't know how to get out of these uh, burning waters. These are waters that have flames above the surface. This, this is boiling water. They cannot do what they want with your life. Be careful who you allow to move into your home. So for some of you, you did let somebody maybe stay with you temporarily. You didn't know what they were up to. You didn't know what they were up to. And now you know. I think that's kind of it. Yeah. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, well, it's going down. It's going down in 2024 and it's going down in 2025. I didn't get anything for the Agenda 2030. Maybe I don't, I could do that in another reading. Let's just get this deck and see what else comes out overall. Ag Agarthens, Manifesting Multidimensional Perception Attunement. I did say something about this vampire. Oh, and then this grays is in the reverse here. Gray short. These grays are the ones that that are like clone bot energies and they just kind of uh, do what they're told. That's in the reverse. People are no longer doing what they're told. And then we've got this Visica Pisces, which is divine feminine energy, birthing fertility, going back to this Empress over here that is protected, highly protected. So Empress energy, highly protected right now. Grays in the reverse. Multi-dimensional. This feels like multi-dimensional warfare. Anything else from this deck? Nightmare health concerns. So someone or more than one person involved in whatever this is, they've recently gotten some uh, health diagnosis that's created an other, uh, utter nightmare and i i almost said utter u d is it double d e r something to do with the cows milking the cows so something about cow's milk something about cow's milk being a nightmare so maybe there's going to be a recall on on milk i don't know, I don't know where that came from oh shit here we go with this Alfred Draconians. <laughs> How long has this dude been sitting here? All right, Alfred Draconians followed by Water and Ebens, Shadow Self. So there's a, a major cleanup. Then we got this MIB, 
the intimidation that goes back to the fear mongering, which is right here. So dark mother energy. They're changing the language. They're changing the language. So the meanings of things no longer apply. And it has to do with faith. Digital pimps. Digital pimps. Let's get a card for this digital pimps. I feel like I'm missing something. The most high. Yeah, these MFs, they're attacking like religion. They're attacking religion. They're attacking faith. Digital pimps clarified by the most high. That's what I said. Oh, gosh. Okay. And I don't mean like religion, like actual churches. I mean people's faith is what they're attacking with this most high. So what, however you call, you know, the most high God, Allah, whatever, whatever your faith is, is being, is under attack. And this could also be someone that masquerades, we'll just say, as, as somebody that has that is faith-based, but they, they aren't really. Or this could be someone that is in the public that is truly faith-based, and they're being attacked as not being, you know, of, yeah, of faith. So someone's faith is being questioned, attacked, but with the, the, where was it? Digital pimps here. This is like a bot farm that that's all they do all day long is generate information, attacking people here and there, you know, how they do it. So yeah, let's just be done with this. Final messages, please and thank you. Okay, that didn't go. All right, gifts from God. <laughs> Lovely. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So the most high already came out. <clears throat> Open your arms to receive. And this, these colors are very similar here. So something about cherry, cherry blossoms even. Pearl, something about pearls, mother of pearl. Gifts from God, Archangel Sandifon. So open your arms, continue in your, how, however you're, you're managing your life. Indigo crystal children, protecting the children. You have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive. And then we've got this passion again. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and your career. So we did have passion here, but it was uh, being clarified. No, not the Ten of Swords. I forget what clarified this passion card, but it was coming out too close to this vampire here. So for some of you, this vampire that's drained, dehydrated, they need your they need your energy. They need a fix. Okay, they know that you are you're following. You've been renewed. You're following your your bliss and they they need to come back in and, and siphon from you chakra clearing and prioritize all as well so yeah whatever it is that you're doing it's working you are in a your yin energy receiving okay so that's what i have collective i'll see you guys soon in another video